What's going on everyone? It's the Eradicator and in this video we'll be talking about City Skylines because well there was Paradox, uh, the Paradox Convention, the Paradox Con and the City Skylines was just added some extra additional paid content. We're going to check it out. This is paid content made by some um, community members here but uh, these are some of those special uh, content creators packs here where the quality is actually matching the standards of uh, Paradox Studios, which is why they're allowing them to bring it into the game for a small fee. And we're going to check it out. There are two packs here. We're talking about bridges and piers, as well as train stations. Both of them here, I live in Taiwan, so these are worth $102 NT dollars, about three US dollars here. And they're, they're definitely adding some nice, nice little collection of various stuff of bridges here, which is going to allow you to uh, add some more diversity of bridge without actually downloading all of those mods, which can be a little bit uh, annoying here. So that's what I like with those content creator packs is that for me, this is vanilla. Uh, this is not like an actual mod. And uh, yeah, I, I can I trust the game to not break or not have uh, any uh, incompatibility issues as it gets patched. So that's why I appreciate those. And we're going to check them out right there in uh, a video that I made uh, just a couple of uh, a couple of days ago here, where I'm using one of my cities to add a few of those extra stations and piers into the uh, game and see how it looks like when we're actually using it. So here we go. Let's have a look right now. All right, so we are here in the city. For those of you who may have seen the old videos where I made the concerts of the band Nestor, it's the same city from two years ago. <laughs> I've been playing the same cities in City Skylines for the, the past two years because uh, I, I don't play very often. But when I do, I do enjoy to modify one of my neighborhoods or make it look a little bit nicer with better looking parks or trees or decorations or just make the traffic flow a little bit better. So we're checking all those bridges here, some European four lane bridge, six lane bridge, stone, uh, European six lane stone bridge and a three lane highway viaduct as well. You can see the speed here, 100, 100 kilometers per hour. So that's going to be the fastest of those bridges, probably for highways, which is great because we also need more highway bridges, whereas the, all the, the other bridges here, uh, American six lane and those metal bridges as well are going to be city bridges with much lower speeds. You find them in beers and bridges like this. Also, you see there are two pedestrian bridges. Those are going to be uh, with the piers here, simple piers, uh, piers with seawall, uh, piers with pass as well as well as uh, simple city keys These are just going to be keys without any uh, pathways and you have a city key wide and uh, some of them with stairs as well a nice variety of different keys that are going to allow you to make uh, different kinds of decoration of different kinds of uh, areas in your city is going to add definitely uh, a lot of variety especially uh, visually speaking from a visual point of view it's going to be very interesting so to add a pier here, well, I uh, decided to modify the terrain a little bit. So I'm going to reclaim some land here on uh, on that particular peninsula, tiny peninsula here, and we are going to turn this area into a park. Probably we're going to have an amusement park here. It's uh, just at the end of the uh, estuary. It's going to be a, a fantastic vista. It's going to look great. And uh, we're going to also attract a lot of people because there are some public transportation. There's a train station not far as well as a little harbor here where players will be able uh, place where NPCs will be able to visit. So hopefully this place will be quite popular. So I'm just uh, modifying the terrain a little bit gonna have to make sure I have enough space so that I can put uh, the city key wide here that's this one I we're going to put for maybe uh, I want to make it look as impressive as possible so I think that this is the most impressive looking of those keys and since I want this place to be an amusement park then uh, we are going to uh, let people maybe uh, have a nice relaxing time by the water. This is looking all right so far. Uh, there are even lights on the very top and it gradually goes down all the way down to the water. I wish that there were more steps maybe, 
but uh, I suppose that's maybe that's perhaps the the level of the water is a little bit low. If I had more water, then maybe it would look a little bit better. And uh, maybe I don't want to have all those stairs. Oh, oh, this is not looking so good. You can see there's actually no transition between the simple key and uh, the large one. Just one ugly, uh, one ugly straight angle like that. This is not fantastic. I wish that it would smoothly transition between the large key and the tiny one. So I guess I'm gonna have to delete and uh, make a certain continuity all the way until the end. Yeah, that's looking better. That's looking better. And here, am I going to be able to do the same on the other side? I don't think that it would make much sense. Plus, I don't think that I have enough space anyway. So we're going to use a smaller one, a simple key again. If I do that, maybe I need to have curves. Yeah, if I have curves, that's going to be a little bit better. Oh, let's not destroy the rocks. Those rocks are like one of the attractions of the area. Okay, the rocks are intact. Ah, this is again not looking so good. But anyway, I was able to find a way to make it look a little bit, a little bit better. And uh, now we're going to make that park. Uh, I'm pretty much uh, going to put all of the different attractions in this part because I've unlocked everything and uh, it is going to be the biggest uh, theme park, the biggest amusement park of my city here. I know that this is not part of the DLC but I just like to build cities. Maybe some of you guys are not familiar with this channel and are just coming here uh, to uh, to see, you know, to check out uh, this new uh, DLC here and check out how it looks like. And maybe uh, you will also want to see uh, how the Eradicator builds his own city, right? Put that little piggy train here on the side. Maybe some of you are also not familiar with City Skylines or haven't played City Skylines for years. Uh, th this is part of a uh, DLC. It was a DLC many years ago about uh, amusement parks. So that's why I got... Uh, I think I've got pretty much all the DLCs except for the ones about universities. Anyway, another thing that is uh, very important and that I like a lot in City Skylines is the attention to details. Sure, you can build a random city, but then it's going to look pretty ugly. So taking the time to place all of those details in your city here uh, you know, is uh, definitely going to give you a satisfying result just like that. When it's finished, when you have to hide the imperfection, I usually use trees. So, you know, the trees are taking the space that is you know, not so good looking. And there we have it. There's the final result here with the piers. And this is definitely looking like a great place. I mean, visually, ex except for that, uh, the end of that, of the pier here on the side, this is definitely looking like a place that could exist in real life, I am extremely happy with that amusement park and uh, visually it definitely looks very satisfying. All right, now, uh, next we are going to keep on using uh, keys, but this time we are going to use a simple one and we'll be using it here to, uh, to go alongside the river here. There's another peninsula here where two rivers are merging into a bigger one. And we are going to stabilize the shores of this river with a key. It's definitely going to look less wild and more urban. Perhaps uh, we're going to be uh, building a road that will go next to it and maybe some houses if I can. Uh, again, that's the, uh, the one thing, the one problem that I have with piers and keys is that it's really hard to make them end in a satisfying way. You can see it just abruptly ends here and there's not much that I can do after that. So usually what I do, it just it's just not going to look good. Plus it's the spring here. I don't want to be surrounding the spring with a key. So what I usually do is I'm putting trees by the end of a, uh, of a key like that and it's hiding the end. You can see here that we don't really see the end of the pier. It is merging with all that vegetation and it's looking a little bit better. All right. I think that we're good here. It's quite all right. 
So what we're going to do next, we are going to place a road. You can see there's that big bridge here that links the two districts that are separated by the river. And uh, we are going to use one of those new bridges, perhaps, to see how it looks like. Um, try to see that. There's just no way. I already have too many bridges. I don't want to be uh, destroying uh, some of the neighborhoods here. It just wouldn't make any sense. The city is already flowing quite well. So, yeah, let's just use one of those new bridges. Maybe a European Fallen Stone Bridge or an American Six Lane. Hmm, it's hard to tell. Because, you know, at the same time, it's a city that looks modern. So maybe we'll take a truss bridge here. Yeah, that's going to look all right. And uh, that bridge is pretty tall. So we'll be going down there. Come on. I wish, that's another uh, remark here. I wish that those piers would have a smaller collision zone. I know that there are mods that are that are allowing you to be building much closer, but again, as I said, I am not a big mods guy. I'm not a big fan of mods, so that's why I will avoid to do that. I try to keep my game as vanilla as possible. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Yeah, it's looking quite all right. That is a big slope, though. It's a big slope, but at the same time, it's a uh, it's a tall bridge. All right, so we'll be uh, using here a four lane road. Uh, not as, uh, yeah, this is really as close as we can get to the, to the pier. Hmm. Well, I guess it should be okay. I think that there's enough room to put a couple of shops, but that's not going to be visually satisfying. If I put some trees on the side of the road, I think that we can perhaps have something that would look Okay, this is always, you know, that's always an important part in city skylines. You want to have cities and uh, you want to have, sorry, you want to have a visually good, a visually good looking city. And uh, there are some uh, some tools that allow you to do that. Uh, no, I want to have the big vegetation and the palm tree. I'm going to place these palm trees one by one, uh, just like that, all the way until the highway. And uh, yeah, I think it looked quite all right. Mm, yeah, it's looking okay. Good. Next, uh, we also have those new, uh, so we have a ground island. Lots of uh, new station here that you can find in the community tab on the far left side. These are Songkang Metro. Uh, Sunken Island platform. Lots of those city stations seem to be crossing roads. You can see I'm trying to place them right next to uh, existing roads, but it doesn't work. You need to be placing them crossing roads that are already existing. And on top of that, you have to make sure that those roads are in a flat area. All of you can see here, land is already occupied. So you need to make sure that all of those areas here are either not occupied or not too steep. So maybe I can try to have a new line that is going to allow me to create, so to at least place some of those stations. I think that this neighborhood here seems to be a good area to start a new line because it is a little bit remote and it's going to allow uh, people who live there to go to the bigger city without having to take their cars. So that would make sense. Plus, uh, there are no public transportation here at the space elevator. So it could be also a good way to connect the space elevator with the rest of the city with an actual metro line. Yes, that seems like a good idea. So uh, we are going to join to link some of the existing roads here with the, uh, the village that is uh, going to that is at on the west side. So uh, this is obviously a station that is a little bit too big So we are not going to be using this one Is there anything else that is a little bit smaller here? Uh, this got a, a lot of bus stops here, so we're not going to have uh, uh, the, the bus areas elevated bypass metro station. Why not? Why not but again? Uh, these are going to have to cross roads and I do not have roads that the bypass station is going to uh, get across with. So, uh, see there, obviously it's not going to be merging with the space elevator at all. So, 
in order to do that, I'm probably going to have to build a road. Yeah, there you go. This is uh, that's way too much here. I can't do that. So I'm going to have to build a road and we'll put one of those uh, bypasses on top of that road. No, that's way... Can you, did you see that? Five, five metro lines. That is way too much. I mean, I'm glad that we have a hub like this. But I think that in order to be able to use all of those uh, new metro stations, I probably need to make a new city. Because the city I have right now is just not allowing me to uh, cr to have uh, you know, the kind of creativity that I want to have. So, uh, here, we are still going to try to create a new line with the new station. And we'll be joining, uh, we'll be having a road here, which is where we'll be putting a metro on top. So maybe elevated the platform here. Come on, I, I want to be looking at the metro, uh, the actual the actual metros. I want to see them come and go. So we'll have one that is going to not block the visibility. This one looks about right. There you go. Now it's working. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna have that station, that elevated station, just like this. Yeah. I mean, it's quite all right. You can definitely tell that cars are going to be uh, driving under, but looks like there's some space there. Oh, that's because there's enough space for a large road, but I didn't use a large road. I used a smaller road. So maybe you can put some pavement in order to make it look like a little plaza inside like this. Have a look at this, guys. This is how I'm removing the grass. There we go, just like this. Boom, boom. And we're going to make it look a little bit better on the side. Let's rotate the pavement so that we can have something, a shape that matches the road. There we go, that's much better here. Let's finish it. And can I, yes I can, I can finish like this boom ah now visually that is much more satisfying i like that okay 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 we're good here now let's make an actual line we're gonna think are there two or four uh four four lines four four lanes that's strange that is strange so we're going to create a new metro line as i said we're, we need to connect this uh, village here with the rest of the city and for that we're going to t to uh, create and because i want the metro here to be to be an uh to be uh to be overground i don't want it to be underground so it's just going to be visually more appealing uh, when you have this uh, this this overground metro this airborne metro right it just looks um it just looks like you know it's, it's not part of the big city you would have underground metros uh, in city centers but in the suburbs like that you may want to have something that that is uh that is uh that is above the ground just to make it seem a little bit more realistic sorry if we uh, sacrificed a couple of houses there we go we managed to go above most of the neighborhood here now we're gonna have to get on top of this uh, highway there we go that's done there's a little hill you're gonna have to uh, maybe uh, yeah if we go under the hill it's also going to look a little bit more realistic like this yes now let's go on top yeah let's go that there you go just a mini tunnel just like how it will be in real life and i think that we can go straight to the station here yeah Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Very smooth. And that's what I said. Uh, it's a four lane. Why are there four lanes? I don't understand. Maybe because some trains are just passing by. That's weird. I've never seen any stations like that before. Anyway, yeah, there must be a reason for that, but I just don't understand it yet. Anyway, it's looking good so far. Yeah, it's looking uh, it's looking pretty smooth. I like what uh, what we have here. So we are going to connect the rest. There we go. The, the train station is now connected. I've made a line that goes through the entire city, 
and we should be able to see the first metros there we go there we have it guys very nice looking indeed and we have a nice little metro that goes from the big city all the way to the space elevator and then down to the suburbs that's awesome and that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you so much for watching look at we're gonna have a look at the model before the end because it's very detailed and uh, i would dare to say that uh, it's even better looking than some of the uh, that most of the buildings that were made by uh, by colossal order themselves just my opinion but very nice job here from the content creator who made those stations awesome awesome so there we have it guys uh city skylines uh, train stations and city skylines B bridge and piers available right now and it's going to allow you to beautify your city and create more diverse cities uh, for a very small fee and uh, at the at the advantage of keeping your game vanilla and mod free i'll see you guys uh, next time for more content on the channel thank you so much for watching this is the eradicator i'll see you guys later This video is brought to you by the people who support this channel on Patreon and via the join button as well. Supporters of the channel get access to lots of cool perks such as access to my private Discord, your question answered in the show, you get to know when I'm going to play, and also, you get to have a chance to influence the editorial line of the channel. Any help is appreciated, starts as just a dollar a month. Thank you very much for watching. This is the Eradicator, and I'll see you guys later.